So, you finally decided to show up at my door. <laughs> uh, how brave of you. So, do you think you finally become strong enough to defeat me, or are you just stupid? Come on, speak. You look awfully nervous for somebody who showed up on my doorstep. You heroes never know what's good for you. You should be waiting for me to come terrorize you. But instead, you're going to come fight me on my own home court. <laughs> I can't tell if you're brave or stupid, honestly. Why don't you speak? Come on now. Tell me what you've got going on in that little head of yours. You have a secret for me. <laughs> and I'm just supposed to believe you. This could very easily be a trap, you know. I wasn't born yesterday, and I'm not an idiot. I know what I'm doing. This isn't my first rodeo. Look, you can try to lure me out all you want, but I promise you, the only thing that will reward you with is a blade in your throat. So come on, if you want to reveal your secret, you're going to have to do it from this distance. Otherwise, I'm going to attack you first. <laughs> Don't worry so much. If you are telling the truth, then you shouldn't have anything to worry about, right? Come on now. Don't waste my time. Speak. You've... There's no way, right? You committed a crime for me. I see. Well, do tell. Just what did you do? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's absolutely unforgivable. But how can I trust you? You don't have any evidence, do you? You could be lying to me. You could be luring me in, and then all of a sudden I'm surrounded by all of your little buddies. Trust me, I don't think the entire lot of you could defeat me. But I do have to worry about how much of a mess it's going to make, and how much I'm going to struggle doing it. This is my lair. It's my baby. I built it myself. And I'm not going to let it get trashed by a couple of righteous assholes like you. So, if you really expect me to believe you, then you better provide proof. Especially of the fact that you've been denounced from your own group of heroes. Well, I see. That is quite convincing, but I'm not quite reassured yet. I need more time. I need more evidence, honestly. If that's true, why don't you go pick up the body of one of the victims of your crimes and bring them here? If you can prove to me that you really did these things, and we either have a corpse or a witness testimony, then I would have no choice but to believe you. Come on. You shouldn't mind kidnapping or grave robbing after the crime you've committed. Ugh, whatever. You can do it, or you can die. Why are you looking at me like that? Of course I would kill you. You, in particular, are my arch-nemesis and have been for years. What in the world could possibly change that? What in the world could possibly sway my paranoia? You see, I have a reason for thinking that this is a trap. You have been against me from the start. And you expect me to suddenly believe that things have changed. Not quite. If it is so, then tell me it is so. However, I would prefer evidence. I don't like wasting time. You 
are in love with me. <laughs> Come on now. Do you really expect me to believe that? Truly, honestly, you do. <laughs> I see. This is quite the predicament, you see. Love is, at most, a chemical reaction in the brain, and at the very least, it's a motivator. You see, if you loved your team more than you loved me, faking love could easily be a way to get close, a way to get comfortable, feeding your other little nasty heroes all of my secrets. You expect me to believe that you aren't a spy, that you won't try to kill me in my sleep. If you genuinely feel that way, then why don't you tell me about it? Come on. You, of all people, should know how... <laughs> self-centered I am. Why don't you tell me what you like about me? Hmm? Don't be shy now. Say it. What about me is so great that you want to throw away your little just righteous status as a hero? Hmm? That's a good one, but you're going to need to do better than that. <laughs> Come on, that's generic. Give me another one. I see. While I do agree that I possess those three qualities, I'm not sure why they would appeal to you. Isn't your need for justice and righteousness higher than your need for me? Huh. I see. As I said, evidence will make this case much better. If you don't want to go grab a corpse, why don't you just make a call for me? Or, I don't know. Grab a picture from the internet, or ask one of your hero buddies for a picture. I mean, if you ask them for a picture of the crime scene that you committed, <laughs> they might respond in a very negative way. But that's okay, because if they do respond negatively, I'll protect you. Because that means that you were good on your word, and you might actually have a reason to like me and switch sides. Isn't that right? <laughs> Come on, I need something more conclusive than words here. You see, it's kind of like a paradox. You have sworn yourself to a moral code of not doing crime, so one would think that you would also be unable to lie, but you just broke that moral code by committing such heinous crimes against the undeserving. We all fight for something that's right. Even I am convinced that my way is the correct way. But you broke your moral code, and maybe lying about it is the best way to get you to kill me. I don't know, it just makes all too much sense. You break your moral code so that you don't have to worry about being held to it. And then you show up here, saying, oh, take. Take me as yours. I wish to be with you. I wish to join sides with you. It just doesn't add up. You could be lying. So, show me your proof. <laughs> All right. I do admit that is quite convincing. You see... I'm just being cautious. However, I trust that you aren't going to do anything stupid, so why don't you get over here? Get a little bit closer. I want you to sit at my feet, and then we'll figure out what to do from there. Such a good girl like you could turn so, so bad.